actually disgusting how sweating I am right now and I haven't even started. Wow, let's just get into it. There's a big old book on haul coming up. There's easily like 70 to 80 books here I would think, maybe. And there's a bag of classics downstairs as well, but just I'm ashamed of how this is all set up, but just bear with me. Okay, so. They're all to go. We are in the process of moving house. So a lot of my books are already at the new house, but I actually have a lot to my right that I am taking with me. Um, as well as all the ones on my left that I am getting rid of. So a slight disclaimer, if your favourite book is on here, I'm sorry, please don't be mad. If there's a lot of there is a lot of special editions on here that I just haven't got round to so please again don't be mad these are all um opinions opinions are subjective they are each person's own individual opinion and just because I don't agree with your opinion for example over a book doesn't mean that I don't like you as a person it just means that I don't have any interest in reading the book or I have read said book and don't like it so not gonna lie, majority of these are unread, literally because I have that many books and I'm not gonna get round to them. But I'll tell you if I have, I haven't read them as we go. And without further ado, let's just go. I'm not gonna go into a synopsis of all of them. If there's a story behind any of them, I will tell you. But at the moment, no, we're just gonna hold up the books and yeah, okay, let's go. First off, we have Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owen. I got this on the recommendation of Vanessa from Wanderness and everybody seems to want, love it and rave it, rave it and love it and just everything but not for me I don't think, I don't think I'm going to read it. Someone We Know by Sheree Lapina and An Unwanted Guest by Sheree Lapina. Neither of these I have read, I have read the first, the first one I read I absolutely loved so naturally I went and bought as many as I could find and have not read them since. Um, <clears throat> Someone Like Me by M.R. Carey. I picked this one up because I absolutely loved A Girl With All The Gifts and it just doesn't sound like my taste anymore. Two that Vanessa gifted me not too long ago, but I don't think I'm gonna get round to them, is Steelheart and Legion and em The Empress Soul by Brandon Sanderson. The Witcher by Andrzej Sapkowski. These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rash. I have two editions of this, so I'm getting rid of one of them. The Sanctuary by V.V. James. Black Eyed Susans by Julia Heberlin. Heberlin. Truth Witch, Wind Witch, and Bloodwitch, all by Susan Dennard. I've read the first one, but not the other two. And I don't think I'm gonna get around to them because the first time I read the first one was like 2014. Angel Mage by Garth Nix. The Girl in the Walls by AJ News, which has this beautiful edge on it. The Danger Gang by Tom Fletcher. Passage and 12 by Justin Cronin. The Other Girl by C.D. Major. The Deathless Girls by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. Northern Lights and the other two are somewhere else in this pile by Philip Pullman. Into the Water by Paula Hawkins and The Whistler Man by Alex North. The Beholder by Anna Bright. The Orphanage of Gods by Helen the Coggan. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. Space Between Worlds by Makia Johnson. Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. Ready Player Two by Ernest Klein. Rat Queens Volume One by... Who's this by? Curtis J. Reeb and Rob Upchurch. A Memory Called Empire by Arcady Martin. I just don't think I'm gonna get round to it. The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. Cage of Souls by Adrian Tchaikovsky, which is one of the ones that I think I probably would have really, really enjoyed. I just haven't got round to it and I've had it for ages. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. Bag of Bones by Stephen King. We then have Lord of Chaos, which is book six in the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. I have not read book one. Why did I get book six? Book five is in this pile somewhere too. We then have what I think is a controversial one, which is The Diviners by Libba Bray. Dark Side by Belinda Bauer. Bull by Hugh Howie. Across the Void by S.K. Vaughan. Then have Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. And then there's that book five I wasn't about before. The World by Jason Segal and Kirsten Miller. We then have Witches Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart. I just prefer the normal paperback edition of this one. The Best Things by Mel Giedrich. The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrell. And To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. We are getting there guys. We now just have those ones left. I don't know if anybody's keeping count because I think Rebecca probably won't, let's be real here. So I have to admit that some of these books in this pile are gifted. There's a couple in here that are gifted. I've either bought 
another edition of it myself or I've had it that long and lost interest in the book, it does happen. I am so very thankful for the people gifting these to me. They know that I am thankful for them and I am going to give them to a charity shop so that somebody else can enjoy the book just as much as I would have if I'd read it at the time. Um, this again is in no, no way anything bad against the person who's gifted me them. It's just to let you know that I am grateful for them. It's just I haven't got round to them and I feel really bad for that but I don't have the space in the new house for them. I'll not tell you when they come up, to be honest. I'll just be sort of, you know, whatever. Uh, so next up we have Stephen King's A Lysi Story. We then have The Mercies by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. This one I actually bought when I was in Ludlow, so I might actually keep it. I think I'm gonna keep it. Holiday memories and all that. We then have Romanov by Nadine Brands and also White Bones by Graham Masterson. After Love by Tanya Byrne. This is a Pink Spread Edge edition. The Crimes of Brindlewald, the original screenplay. All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. Slay by Brittany Morris. First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North. Lethal White by Robert Galbraith. Raw by Cora Carmack. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. The Christmas Killer by Alex Pine. The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. The Luminary by Eleanor Catton which I've had on my shelves for the longest time so I'm proud that I'm getting rid of it. The End of Her by Sheree Lapina. Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Vanessa actually found the matching editions of the duology at Barter Books so I'm getting rid of this one because I have those two now. Vanessa did give me this one and I did double check with her and she was like I don't care do what you want. So four novels of Charles Dickens which I know I literally just got not too long ago but it's it's not going to get read, I don't think. Now, what's left, a lot of them are special edition books. Um, by the time this video goes live, these books will all be at various charity shops or donations. Um, I was going to try and sell them, but there wasn't a lot of interest when I was selling them. So I do apologise if anybody sees anything they would like, because it's not going to be here by the time the video goes live. Um, but yeah, just bear that in mind when you see all these special editions and think you want them. They aren't going to be here. So let's get cracking. We're near the end. Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. I just had a coughing fit, which Rebecca will have edited out. Future Rebecca will have edited out, but I just had a coughing fit and it hurts now. So I'll be as quick as I can. This time will be different by Misa Segura and Haven Fall by Sarah Holland. This one fell flat for me. We all know my thoughts on that one. We then have. The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. Skyward Out and Starsight by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I have got the paperback of this one and I can't see myself. I didn't want to pick up Cytonic. It was just a trilogy that I didn't want to pick up and not get to ever. So we're, we're changing that. We then have a hardback edition of The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. And a hardback edition of The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Then have this lovely edition, a Canterbury Classics edition of Classic Tales of Horror which actually has a lot of things in this. It has um, the likes of the Telltale Heart, Dracula's Guest, um, the Body Snatcher. It also has the Turn of the Screw, um, the Raven, the Yellow Wallpaper, the Monkey's Paw. Um, it has a lot of things in. I mean, they're all quite short. I'm supposed to be getting rid of books. Why am I still keeping them? Anyway, change plan, I'm keeping that one. Once in Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. The Wall by John Lanchester. New York 2140 by Kim Stanley Robinson. When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Rabbits by Terry Miles. Grave Secrets by Alice James. Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson. I've been wanting to read this for the longest, longest time. Um, but I, I just haven't got round to it and I'm kind of good about that because it's such a vibrant book. It's a space book as well. It's a space book about coming back to Earth. 